hello today just quick video which I, which I wanted to record for for quite some time it's nothing special but I want to share this maybe it will be helpful to you so what I like to do is to is not to use too many tools if I don't have to so I did, didn't invent this, but I found it. Uh, the method to paint seamless textures using just Blender. So what you have to do is uh, to place, uh, place a plane. Uh, you have to add material, you can set the specular and roughness to proper values. So for me the best is to turn off the specular and set roughness to 1. In the shading tab add texture and image texture. Add new image, call it whatever you like set the mm, set the resolution set the base color I don't need alpha so uncheck this and now Shift D to duplicate the duplicate this, put this over here, put this over here, copy it again. So you end up with nine planes. You can join them together. And what I like to do is uh, I like to uh, turn on the wireframe so I can see it a little bit better and now I can paint my texture I can see the boundaries of my texture here and you can see maybe it will be easier if I merge this actually yeah so because when the vertices uh, are over each other as you can see when I paint on the boundaries when I have small small uh, brush you don't see you cannot see that too too well but with bigger brush there is this there is this line white line over here so the best for this is to join merge the, the vertices by distance so press M and uh, click by distance so that way you will have you will have you won't see this ugly line here uh, so yeah this way you can paint your texture add some color variations don't be afraid to experiment
you can add some small rocks uh, full of okay add some rocks here and there not too many add some shadows add some highlights For this, maybe screen will be better. Yeah. And actually, it would be better if you just use your tablet when painting. So, if you have a good graphical tablet. Then use it. I need to plant those stones a little bit with the ground. You can add shadows. To your stones. Add some cracks to make them a little bit more interesting. This one needs a little bit more love. will be better okay so I have some stones and I painted myself uh, a texture of dirt you can use this method to paint actually anything maybe you have something like that you can paint a brick wall I don't need a smooth stroke just 
add some colors, some tracks, pseudos, stones. Yeah, it would be much easier just to use graphic tablet for this. But I'm just lazy and I don't have space on my desk now. Okay, so I have something like that. So maybe now multiply this. Make it a little bit darker. And this way. And paint yourself quite nice stainless texture hand painted this is also very satisfying to paint that kind of stuff course if you don't have if you don't own a graphic tablet you can press shift s and this will allow you to paint a little bit more smoothly smoothly just remember to paint everywhere some variation now I can add some highlights not multiply it's supposed to be screen Highlights. Actually, I haven't watched uh, and now I forgot this name of this painter Bob Ross oh I haven't watched Bob Ross videos when they were popular but from what I learned from him that there are no mistakes they are just happy accidents so remember that and just feel free and paint okay I have 
those we can make highlights a little bit brighter here and there Right. Use some references. It's always a good idea. Not like me at the moment. Okay. You get the idea. It's supposed to be quick video. But I just can't can't help myself and I need to paint this and record I don't know why we can always uh, So we can paint using all these tools. Add some variations. Like that. If you don't like it, you can always paint over this and I hide your happy mistakes and this way you can actually I should finish the rest but I don't feel like it so let's add a cube add new material audio texture uh, image UV and um, mapping. Yeah. And I painted myself a brick wall texture. Everything within the blender. I hope you like it. And see you in the next one.